Welcome to Be Mitzvah Bites, a new bite-sized podcast from PJ Library. Each episode, you'll hear real kids ask the hard-hitting questions about how to prepare for their B'nai Mitzvah. The best part? They'll receive answers and real-life examples from older kids who recently had a bar or bat mitzvah ceremony. You'll hear everything from who to invite, how far in advance you should start preparing, tips for memorizing your Torah portion, how to deal with nerves, book recommendations, and so much more. This week, Ellery offers her advice to Gabriella about the importance of practice and balance. So how often do you practice for everything you're going to say and read? And does it interfere with everything else you're doing in your life? Is it hard to just say, oh, I'm going to practice right now? That is a really good question. Um, it kind the, the whole work and practicing thing kind of came in a few stages. There was like stage one, which is I got plenty of time. I'll just like, I'll do some work ahead of time. I'm so good at this. I'm so ahead of the game. And then there was kind of the like phase of there's so much I have to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all. That was probably the most stressful part for me was just lear- the learning and the memorizing. And once I had, and then there was the phase of like, I've got, I've memorized everything. I, I need to practice like every like once a week, but I'm fine. The week or two before my bat mitzvah, I actually remember my parents saying like, maybe you shouldn't talk to any friends for these two weeks until your bat mitzvah. And I was like, no, um, there's definitely in, in the theater business, they um, call like the week before performance, they call it like hell week. And it felt exactly the same for that. It was just a week of practicing and practicing and getting everything ready and rehearsing. I, I, I don't know if any of you have started writing your Devar Torahs, like the speech, but I waited way too long to do that. And so definitely the few weeks before it was a rush of writing and rewriting and editing and worrying. It definitely got in the way a little bit. And that week was really stressful and filled with a lot of like tension. It can kind of, the stress can kind of make you like regret, like why why, why didn't I memorize this sooner? Why am I not better at this? Um, that was probably one of the hardest parts as well was just the week or two before getting everything ready, revving up and thinking that like, this is like, I gotta practice. Um, probably the best advice that I can give for that is to learn everything, get it pretty down beforehand. Like you've probably heard this a million times before, but like doing stuff last minute, I can tell you from the heart of a procrastinator doesn't pay. It really doesn't. If if you should not wait until you have two weeks left to start writing your Devar Torah, it's a really bad idea. Um, And getting stuff done ahead of time really takes the burden off of those last few weeks, at least part of it. I would say just, it's gonna be stressful, but if you get stuff done ahead of time, it can be a little bit easier. And it all, it's all worth it once you like get up there and you're doing it and you're feeling ready. Thank you so much for hanging out and listening today. And a special thank you to our PJ Arway design team and alumni for being on our panel and chatting. Our music is Enjoy Life with Your Family by Awesome Music. This podcast is produced and mixed by Ali Thresher with production support from Emily Brown, Rachel Goodman, and Elizabeth Corliss. Bard Bastion created our art. This is a PJ Library Presents production. For more PJ Library podcasts and to sign up for free Jewish books, visit pjlibrary.org.